Hey guys, Aaron Farm here uh, with my sugar-free journey. It's time for Weight Loss Wednesday. So as of this morning, I'm at 238.8 pounds, which is pretty much the same I've been for a while now. Uh, my plan to put on more muscle seems to be working. Yesterday was the first day all week that I didn't work out. Um, and I'm seeing benefits, especially in my, in my arms uh, and in my chest. My arms especially, I got a special workout tool, I guess, I don't know what you'd call it, but it's specifically to work out your forearms, uh, because my forearms are really small, like they're, I can put my hand around my wrist, if, if I wasn't holding my phone, I'd show you, uh, and so I wanted to do something that would work out my, my, my forearms, and that I bought something online, and it works, works like a charm, um, you have to come over to the blog to see it, if you, if you want to see it, but, uh, it, uh, it, it's amazing, it, uh, it actually, you can see a little bit of definition in my in my forearms of all places, which is which is cool. Um, plus free weights for you know the the rest of my arms and my and my shoulders. Uh, it's been going pretty well. Uh, I'm in, I'm enjoying the process of trying to put on a lot more muscle to see if that's what if that budges the, the my weight. Um, today specifically, today specifically reminds me of something uh, very special. It was, it was when my my middle son told me that he and his wife were pregnant, with uh, what was going to be my fourth grandchild at the time. Um, that was that was one of the big motivating factors that really kind of compelled me <clears throat> to uh, to get my act together. And today is her fourth birthday, so I was thinking about that. And uh, you know when. I was probably 400 pounds or so when uh, we, when we find out when we found out that that she that she was pregnant, um, and then I was probably about 325 uh, by the time a uh, little bit was born, and uh, you know done nothing but but lose weight since then, and uh, that was that was a that was a key turning point that that we have a new we had a new grandchild on the way and I wanted to be I wanted to be around for her. Um, I, I adored my grandfather, so my mom's dad loved him, just, just thought he hung the moon, I, I have these strong memories of sitting at the kitchen table, eating, uh, eating ice cream with him after dinner, and talking to him, I just, I just thought he was, I was the first, the first grandson, the oldest grandson, and I just thought, uh, you know, I just thought he was amazing, and, uh, you know, I remember him, being with me and and uh, you know hanging out with me and and uh, well, I was probably about seven when he had his heart attack and passed away, and I remember that was that was really um, life altering for me, you know, because I you know I just thought the world of him and it was it, I was so young I didn't really understand what death was and uh, you know I didn't. It, it affected me in ways I didn't really understand for, for years and years. Um, so when my son told me that he was pregnant with, with this next one, even though, I mean, I already had, you know, my, my daughter had three grandkids. I already had three grandkids, but there was something about this one that I thought, man, I, I really need to get my act together. I, I need to fix this. And uh, that was what, that was a big motivating factor for me to get started on on this low carb diet, and it was it was amazing. Both the both both of these things came together at the same time. Number one, this motivating factor of we're going to have a new grandkid, and number two, the fact that I had a way to do it with low carb. It wasn't just eat less and exercise more. I had a concrete something that I could follow in order to lose weight. So just to have both these things come together at the same time was really amazing, and uh, you know it changed my life. You know, it helped me lose two hundred pounds. Helped me kind of regain my health. And, um, so it's funny how life works like that sometimes. So I guess my question for you is, you know, what motivates you? I'd love to hear that. You know, tell me, you know, in the YouTube comments or come to my blog, tell me in the comments, let me know, you know, let me know what motivates you. Let me know what, what gets you up in, in the morning and what, you know, keeps you on a, on your, your health journey and, you know, keeping your, your mind right and your body right and all that stuff. I'd love to hear that stuff. Um, Okay, so if you're watching this on YouTube, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel uh, so that you never miss an episode. I'd love for you to uh, come on and, uh, and uh, you know, don't, don't miss the video. Anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. We'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.